Hello everyone, today I will be sharing with you my favorite Chanel fragrances. And we are here in my fragrance wardrobe closet. I will do an entire fragrance collection video, but for today I just wanted to focus on Chanel because I don't want these videos to be so long. And in this shelf is where I keep all my Chanel fragrances. And the lighting is horrible on purpose because I typically leave the fragrance closet very dark and cool with the door closed. And that is to preserve the fragrances. You know, it's best to keep fragrances in a cool, dark closet, away from sunlight, away from heat. So typically it would look like this. It would just be really dark. This is the light from my closet. And then I don't even have this light on. I usually have the light off and the door closed <laughs> because I made the mistake of keeping my fragrances just on my vanity in a very brightly lit, very sunny bedroom and some of my fragrances turned. They were cheaper fragrances, but I don't want that to happen with Chanel and so when I moved last year, I purposely rearranged my fragrances and I try to keep it nice and dark. So I have the light on right now just to give you a tour of my Chanel fragrance wardrobe. So I have this organizer from, I think it was from Macy's. I'll try to link a similar one. It's not available anymore, but I just like it because it's tiered and so I can kind of keep it all organized. So just starting from the back. Okay, so this fan, sorry, it's casting shadow. I just can't help it. So this fan was part of the exclusive Edinburgh fragrance launch. So this was a gift with purchase. I did purchase the Edinburgh fragrance here. And I try to keep the Leo fragrances here, but it, I'm running out of room, so I have to rearrange these soon. But these are my fragrances. I'll do an entire collection video, but for today I want to focus on a few. And so I just wanted to give you a tour of my Chanel fragrance collection, and then I'm going to take you out back into the office where it, the lighting is a little better. So this is how I store my Chanel fragrances and I will take you back out and show you my favorites. Okay, so we are back out here in the office and I wanted to share that this video is sponsored by Dossier Fragrances. They very kindly sent me a few of their fragrances to try and I love a good dupe. I love alternatives. I, as much as I love fragrances, I love being able to use a affordable option. What I like to do is to extend the fragrance, like the original fragrance. So the first fragrance we will be talking about is Chanel Gabrielle Essence. And I love this for the summer. It's so light and refreshing and just bright. It, it smells like honeysuckle and it just is so good. I've used, you can see I've made a little bit of a dent in this. I mean, it's not that much, but I have a lot of fragrances, so that that's a lot considering how much, how many fragrances I have. So I just douse myself in this. I mean, all over, I spray all my pulse points. I like to spray my clothing, my hair. And so because this is pretty pricey, what I like to do is I like to layer the original fragrance. I like to spray, you know, kind of a thick layer of the original designer fragrance. And then I like to really almost drench myself with the dupe. So for Gabrielle Essence, the dupe is, it's called Floral Ylang Ylang. And it has pretty much the same notes. And so what, what I love about Dossier is that other than being extremely affordable, they have tons of sales. If you purchase, I think it's, if you buy three, it's free shipping and then it's 20% off. And the prices already are very affordable. So for this, you get 450 ml or 1.7 ounce, about half the size of the Gabrielle Essence. This is only $29 and it smells literally, it's like identical, okay? <laughs> so, and I love that it has the notes on here. So it has here, the top notes are lily, grapefruit, blackberry, middle notes, ylang ylang, tuberose, jasmine. Base notes are musk, orange blossom, and orris. And so what's great with Dossier fragrances, every fragrance comes with a little card and it shows the there's the logo and then it tells you what the notes are. And then it also tells you, so all those same notes that I described up there, they are right up here and it tells you what it's inspired by. So yeah, they're so identical. I, again, what I do is I just, you know, have a base layer of the original and then just really go to town with the 
dupe. And then throughout the day, as I am kind of refreshing my fragrance, I'll use the dupe so that I'm not wasting the original. So that is Gabrielle Essence. Next up is Chanel Chanso Tendre. And I got this from my Dior Beauty essay, Justin at Lux Bag Boy at Nordstrom. They had a, an engraving event. And so they were able to engrave my name on the bottle. So you can tell I've used this a lot also. I love Chanel Chanso Tendre. It's so, it's so sweet. It just is so, I get so many compliments on this. I had to, for work, I had to go get COVID tested and the testing trailer, you know, it's a trailer outside of the building. When I, as soon as I walked in, she was like, she took a step back and she was like, oh my God, you smell so good. So I sat down in the chair and she stood back and started like wafting her hands, you know, towards her to bring the air towards her, her nostrils. <laughs> And because she just loved whatever fragrance it was that I was wearing. And so I told her, oh, it's Chanel Chanso Tendre. It's so good. It's great for summer, blah, blah, blah. And so I was wearing Chanel Chanso Tendre, but I was also wearing the Dossier version, which is Dossier Floral Grapefruit. And again, I showed this in my last video, my most complimented fragrances. So this is the Dossier fragrance that is inspired by Chanel Chanso Tendre. It's called Floral Grapefruit, and it tells you the notes here. Grapefruit, pear, black currant, hyacinth, jasmine, lilac, orris, musk, and amberwood. And I mean, again, just literally identical. I think if you smell them, if you smell them separately, they do smell somewhat different. But when you're wearing them and then throughout the day, I mean, people think that it's Chanel Chanso Tendre. They're, they're not like, oh, what do you, you smell like Chanso Tendre, but that's, I can tell that's not it. I mean, <laughs> no one will say that. It, they think that you're wearing Chanel Chanso Tendre. It's so much more affordable. The Chanel Chanso Tendre in this size is the 3.4 ounce. It's $138, but then the Dossier version, it is, I mean, it's half the size. The Dossier version is $29. And again, I'll put my promo code below. I do have a, a promo code. Dossier graciously extended a promo code for my followers. So you can use that to save some money off your fragrance. So yeah, that is floral grapefruit. Next up is Coco Mademoiselle, but this is the Lo Privé version. This is the night fragrance. I did an entire review on this because this was the first time that I heard of a fragrance that was specifically formulated for bedtime, like for night time, for sleeping. And so it's a, it's a lighter concentration. It's just meant to, you know, after you shower and then you go to bed, it, it's just something to spritz on and just, it just smells so nice and clean and fresh and then it kind of wears away in the morning so that you start off fresh and you can have a different, you know, a different fragrance for the next day. So I like this. I do like Coco Mademoiselle, the original, but it, it's, it's very strong. And so I have to be very careful with that. But this one, it has a really nice light mist. And so I just love to spray this on my pulse points before I go to bed. The notes for Coco Mademoiselle, Le Privé, Jasmine, Rose Petal Accord, and white musk. And this retails for 125 for a 3.4 ounce because it's a lower concentration. It's not the same as the Eau de Parfum. Dossier does make a dupe for Coco Mademoiselle. And so I don't think they make one specifically for the Coco Mademoiselle Le Privé. If you want to dupe this, just, I would say, just maybe don't spray it as, don't spray as much <laughs> just because it is a lower concentration. My next favorite Chanel fragrance is Chanel Number no. 5 Lo. And I discussed this at length in my Chanel Factory 5 unboxing video. I bought a ton of items from the Chanel Factory 5 collection. It was a limited edition collection to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the iconic number no. 5 Eau de Parfum. I'm not a huge fan of number no. 5, and so I, I don't own a full size of it. It's, it's just a little too strong for me. It's a little too mature. <laughs> for me, I think. So I never purchased it, but I like that the number no. five Lo is lighter, it's fresher, it's a, it just smells more youthful, I think. I just really like this. It's a great everyday fresh scent. It's not as heavy, it's not as patchouli ish as number no. five. And so this was from the factory collection. This is brand new. It came in this special factory five collection clamshell packaging. That's a kind of a hard plastic. So very different, a different take from their typical Lux, you know, packaging. So I've been using this a lot 
since I got it, I just it's just a very nice, clean, fresh scent. The notes for this are rose, jasmine, and ylang ylang. And it's so funny because a lot of the Chanel fragrances have very similar notes, but the way they're formulated and the concentration of each one, they make each fragrance so different. If you also are not a huge fan of number five, I definitely recommend trying the low version. It's just a lot lighter and a lot more modern than number five. And then my number one favorite Chanel fragrance is Chanel Gardenia. This is part of their Lay Exclusive collection. And so these are a little pricier. This is, this is $200 for a 2.5 ounce. And I love the story behind this. Gardenia is supposed to be kind of emblematic of Coco Chanel's favorite flower, which is the camellia. And the camellia flower is, you know, you have the beautiful camellia decorations on all the packaging. It's that very iconic white camellia flower that decorates all of the Chanel bags if you purchase from the boutique. But because the camellia flower itself has no fragrance, she came up with this gardenia fragrance because the gardenia is uh, closest in resemblance to the camellia flower. I love the exclusive bottles in general. It has a really nice magnetic closure. Gardenia, it just smells so luxurious, so intoxicating, but clean and fresh. It just is so nice. It just is just straight up gardenia, but so sweet. And it smells like you're in the most expensive French garden. <laughs> I just really like this. I also own the Pure Parfum version of this, which is that really cute bottle. I still keep it in its box in the Chanel fragrance uh, wardrobe closet. So I will show that in my future collection video. But this is Gardenia. You can see I've used it a ton. Anytime I purchase from Chanel Beauty online, if they offer Gardenia as a sample, I always choose it because I love having the little tester samples when I'm traveling. But yeah, that is Gardenia. So this is my number one favorite Chanel fragrance. And unfortunately, I don't think Dossier or I don't know of any other. <laughs> I'm sure there is some kind of a alternative, you know, more affordable option to this, but I feel like this is undupable. It just is such a signature Chanel gorgeous fragrance. If you haven't tried the like, exclusive collection, definitely try it out. It's not available, unfortunately, at department stores. You might, you really have to go to a beauty boutique or order online, but they usually offer samples. So I definitely recommend trying these out if you can. But Gardenia is my favorite, favorite of the Le Exclusive collection from Chanel. So these are my favorite Chanel fragrances right now. Chanel Chanso Tendre and Chanel Gabrielle Essence are my most used throughout the day. I pretty much alternate between these two. And then the number five Lo from the Factory 5 collection is the newest addition to my collection. And then for nighttime, I love the Coco Mademoiselle Le Privé. And then this is just when I'm feeling really fancy from the exclusive collection, Gardenia. So yeah, let me know what your favorite Chanel fragrances are. Again, I'll do an entire Chanel collection video. Thank you so much, Dossier, for sponsoring this video. If you're interested in extending the longevity of your designer fragrances, definitely check out Dossier. They make dupes for pretty much almost every single major popular designer and niche fragrance. So check out their website. They're always coming up with new ones and I will keep you updated whenever there's any sales. I'll include a link below where you can purchase these two. Again, the Royal Grapefruit is a dupe for Chanel Chanso Tendre and then Floral Ylang Ylang is a dupe for Gabrielle. So thank you so much, Dossier, for sponsoring this. Let me know what your number one favorite Chanel fragrance is. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to catch you in my next video. Bye.